Alrighty, we are back with another video. Today, we doubled down and we got another Mescoat roller here. And this is the metal version. This is the one that I actually probably should have had compared to the last one that we did, which was broken. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. We got the premium quality Florida Lee logo on top. You got the name, you got the metal hand roller with a bunch of um, whatever. Um, you got recycle, a trash logo, the big UPC on the bottom. And let's uh, let's peel this back. You can see the railing obviously is metal, but we're gonna start this. Just don't wanna rip the, if there's instructions or something, I don't wanna tear those. I want you guys to be able to see that. There we go, there is some in there. All right, here we go. So it's uh, basically the same thing, um, only it's metal. Uh, and it'll basically roll it just a little bit tighter is what I've noticed. These, uh, the metal rollers roll it just a little bit tighter and it's a little bit different version than you're probably used to. It's got this clamp down motion which is really sweet, but it does roll it nice and tight. So for example, if you have something that's a powdery, more powdery, I guess, than your normal, like, uh, I guess, chunky or um, thick substances that you're rolling in here, it's probably not something you're gonna wanna roll in this style roller because it's gonna roll it super tight. So if, it, if what you're rolling is super powdery or keefy, then um, it's basically gonna render it almost unsmokable potentially, or it might create spots with runs on them which is something you definitely don't want to have happen um so it's something that if you have like a, a more you know not as heavily ground material this works perfect because it basically gets everything nice and compact together with your nice coarse material and it allows it to burn nice and smooth and even so with that with that being said let's check this uh the frame out and the clamping down motion of it so we got a nice stainless frame here it's got uh, two little nubs on the bottom, which I imagine um, are going to be a nice little gutter to catch everything that falls down underneath there. Um, open back over here on the end cap, you can see some visualizations of the clamping down motion right there and how the interlocking is. Now, the normal hand rollers that most of you are used to have like a candy cane on the side, which is the track that the roller is going to slide up and down. This one is literally just a clamping down motion and then you're just rolling the rollers to get it nice and tight. So uh, on the top here we have the brand name right there on the pressing mechanism which is sweet. That is a real nice little subtle touch. Uh, it's not just straight chrome. And again the uh, the brand it's it's come from it comes from Holland, but I'm not sure where they're actually manufactured. If these are manufactured in Holland, um, but it is a product of Holland is is what they what they claim it to be. So um, it definitely rolls a nice tight J. I will say that, um, but I definitely would again would not recommend if you have something that's keefy or super powdery for you to use this style roller and this roller in particular. Um, just because of the fact that it could create potential problems for you when you're trying to at least get a successful smoke out of your um, whatever your role was. So if you like this review, give it a thumbs up. If you've used one of these Muscote rollers, the metal versions with the clamp down, let us know in the comments below. If you think these are awesome, let us know that as well. Um, I haven't seen too many other brands doing this style, so um, if you have seen some other ones, let us know that in the comments below as well. We do smoking reviews every single Monday on this channel, so subscribe for more, and have a great rest of your day.